Two Sacramento County school districts are taking different stances when it comes to welcoming students back to campus. KCRA 3's Golston Dart is here now with the latest. Golston. Well, Brian, Lisa, two school districts in Sacramento County announcing today their plans as the county falls back into the widespread purple tier. Now, the largest district in Northern California, Elk Grove Unified, now says that they will not move to in-person learning for the foreseeable future. So they've been working on plans to get students back in class, but after Sacramento County moved back into the lowest tier today, those plans are now on hold. The district will stay in full distance learning until further notice. And we're also hearing from Folsom Cordova School District tonight. Elementary schools are transitioning into hybrid learning this week. On Thursday, some students will be back on campus for in-person instruction, even though the county's now in the purple tier. They're still allowed to do this, to do the hybrid plan as of now, because they had already begun welcoming some students back while the county was still in the less restrictive red tier. However, there is a teacher's group that says the district is violating the agreed memorandum of understanding. Folsom Cordova Education Association President Angelica Miklos says in part, quote, this is a total irresponsible and careless act being carried out by the FCUSD, putting the lives of everyone in danger. She went on to say, as educators, we want to be back in the classroom with our students, but there is too much at risk to ignore science, facts, and safety, end quote. Now, according to the Sacramento County Public Health officials, districts currently open can remain open as long as there isn't an outbreak. However, districts that have not yet reopened, they're gonna face a setback. They cannot welcome students back on campus until the county has been in the red tier for at least two weeks. There is another option out there for grades pre-K through sixth grade. They can get a waiver from the county's public health uh, officer to reopen. Sac County officials say that there are already districts right now getting the ball rolling, applying for those waivers. So another tough week for parents to try and figure everything out again as we all try to just to get through this first part of the school year. Yeah. Morning live on Golston Dark KCRA 3 News. Back to you guys. Crazy school year, Golston. Thank you.